Beer and pizza. Can life get any better than this? Are you ready to party? Good. G'day all, Taz Daz here again. Welcome to my latest video. Thanks for stopping by. So today we're doing another Willet Pizza. Been thinking about this one for a little while and went to uh, the supermarket today. And um, amazingly, the ingredients that I needed <laughs> were on clearance. So the deli was having a bit of a clear out. So what are we doing? We're doing an antipasto uh, pizza. So antipasto is like um, vegetables and olives, you know, like your marinated vegetables, olives, cured meats, that kind of stuff, and some cheeses. So I've got my little platter of deliciousness right here. So what do we got? So we've got our salami, we've got our olives stuffed with feta and herbs, We've got our uh, Persian marin marinated Persian feta. We've got our mushrooms and we've got our semi dried tomatoes. We've got our Legos pizza sauce and we've got our perfect pizza cheese. And as always off to the side here, we have our Woolies thin crust pizza base. So pretty much all we're gonna do is whack it all on the pizza, cover it in some cheese, whack it in the oven, and see what an antipasto pizza will taste like. I'm actually really excited for this one. So today's beverage of choice is Mountain Dew Energized, no sugar, because we are on a diet. So we're going a little bit healthy with our pizza and a little-ish bit healthy with our drink. Here we are. All right, so let's get this stuff out of the way. Get our pasta sauce on there. I was thinking about doing it with some uh, pesto but I'm not a real fan of pesto personally. So I thought maybe just the standard uh, pizza sauce base on the base will be enough. There we go. Got all that out. So let's just spread that out nice and evenly. I like these sachet ones. They're a little bit more expensive, but at least you're not wasting any of the sauce and you can just use one sachet per pizza. Works out quite well for this sized pizza. And there we go, that's looking pretty good. So if you don't know what antipasto is, I think it's like an Italian kind of entree meal starter thing. That's very technical. <laughs> so we've got that. We're going to put, pop some of our perfect pizza cheese on the base. Just a little sprinkle on the bottom there. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're going to pop our... So this is our, it's our Danish salami. So we've gone very continental today with our pizza. So we just want enough to cover the whole base. Oh, that's looking good so far. Mmm, yum. Who doesn't love their salami or pepperoni? A little bit of the pizza sauce. And then we're just gonna throw all the rest of this on here willy nilly. Nice big chunky pieces of the semi-dried tomato. There we are, kind of, now we've got our olives. And in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, but they've got like the cream cheese in the middle of them. 
may not use all these olives. I've cut up quite a few of them. Yeah, I don't think we'll use all of them. One more right there. Now our mushrooms, these are just um, sliced champignons. Oh, excuse me, was going to get some marinated mushrooms, but um, yeah, the budget didn't allow for it today, unfortunately. So that's, um, that's it so far. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty healthy. Now we're gonna crumble some of this. Oh, yep, nice big chunky bits of the feta on there. Oh, let's try a little bit of this feta. Mm, have a nice piece there to try. Oh, yum. Nice amount of herbs. Very salty, but very delicious. So we probably won't need as much um, cheese as I would normally put on there. And we've got dirty fingers, <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go and wash my fingers. Alrighty, so let's have a sip of our cordial. And the obligatory close-up there. What do you reckon? I reckon it's looking pretty darn good. So we're now just going to finish it off with a bit of cheese on the top. As I said, I'm not gonna put as much cheese as I normally would because we've got all that lovely feta cheese on there. So we'll just try and cover the salami and all the other amazing ingredients. The aroma is awesome. So a little bit more. So what I'm hoping is that this cheese and the feta will all melt in together and come out nice and gooey. Oh, all right. And what we can do, we'll keep an eye on in the oven. If it needs a little bit of extra cheese on there, we'll add that on. But there's our, there's our cheesed up pizza. Look in the goods. So into the oven it will go, and I will be back with one cooked antipasto pizza. Can't wait. Alrighty, we're back. We have one cooked antipasto pizza. The aroma is sensational. And I've swapped my Mountain Dew Energized for a real drink. We got ourselves a Bogues Triple X Ale. So let's open her up, have a sip. As a fly goes buzzing around and let's have a look at that pizza. What do you think of that? Mmm. So it looks like the feta has um, melted down and gone all gooey like I thought it would. Oh, smells so good. So let's get into it. Oh yeah. Big aroma hit from that um, salami. Getting the sun semi-dried tomatoes, the olives. Oh, smells sensational. It really, really does. So, 
I'll bring that up to the camera. Hopefully it'll be focusing on that for you to see. But, oh, looks so good. Time for a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Hot damn. That is so goddamn tasty. Big heat from the tomatoes. We've got the salty olives. We've got that salty feta. We've got that salami. The mushrooms, mm, they're a little bit lost in it. But my oh my, that is one tasty pizza. In for another bite for sure. absolute flavor bomb so many flavors just all working together the only thing as i said that's lost in it is the mushrooms i think next time i would go for some proper marinated mushrooms not the um the cheaper champignons in a can but the olives are super salty and tasty the salami the tomato the feta the only downside to this pizza is it is a little bit on the salty side. I love my salty food, so it's perfect for me. If you love your salty foods, it's gonna be perfect for you too. I'm gonna to have this one last bite and then I'm gonna give it a score. That's just awesome. Absolute bloody winner. One of my favorite pizzas ever, I think. Just the combination of all those flavors, that little bit of saltiness, I love it. Yep, that is a real winner for me. So for flavor, it's not a 10. Um, if I'd have got proper mushrooms, it might have pushed it to a 10, but it's definitely a nine and a half. No doubt about it. Absolutely winning combination of flavors. So will it pizza? Hello, somebody's left me a message. Um, will it pizza antipasto? Absolutely, definitely worth a try. You know, you can leave the olives off if you don't like the olives. You can leave the tomatoes off. You can put any combination of um, ingredients on it and um, yeah it's gonna be just perfect pretty much so there you go will it pizza anti-pasto 100% yes it will so thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons for your support especially William Aman Pete 89 Tom Penny pardon me and Angelo Without your support and everybody else's support of the people that have donated, left a like or whatever, I wouldn't be able to do these videos. So I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. And thank you once again for watching and hopefully I shall see you on a future video. Bye.